Welcome into my place of creation. I am Gaia. I am the Mother Earth energy and I have come to speak with you through this vessel, this moment, this time. Do not worry about her physicality as she adjusts to my energy, to my vibration. For her body wishes to fly like the birds, like the butterflies. It wishes to cease to be in this place because of the energy that is within her at this moment. And I invite you to tap into that vibration right now. Dear ones, breathe. And breathe within yourself the very entity of life because life is an essence but it is the entity within it is the spiritual spirit of you the essence that gives you breath but without the knowledge of the breath of where you have come from it is just emotion it is just a sense of of awareness. Dear ones, dear humans, beloved children, I have planted each one of you in various places in orchards all over this world. And you have traveled through millennia and you have traveled in this lifetime to gather into certain places of harvest. Oh, I am using certain words that in some contexts could be misconstrued. Do not worry, there is no reaping about to happen. But understand, you are here to harvest energy. And what do you do when you energize something, when you harvest it in? It is for process, is it not? Do you just go to the vegetable patch and harvest what is there and then let it sit and then in a few weeks time go back to look at it and it is what? Compost, yes? No, dear ones. When you harvest something it is when you bring it in and you begin to utilize it, you begin to quantify the reason of harvesting. It is for nourishment. It is for ensuring that your body is maintained in strength and in ability of being. The energy that is in this room, in this world, in this globe, at this moment, <coughs> is as you have heard from various messages and teachers, a brand new energy you have been told to create with it and so those creations are due to now have their first harvest what are you bringing in dear ones but understand it is beyond even just the conceptualization of something that you have created for I have been working behind the scenes. I have been working at many levels of great intuitiveness with you and with many thousands across the globe. And at this moment, there is a vibration, there is a sense of preparation. And you are being invited to come to the table of preparation. You are invited to come to that which is the place where you are uniquely identified for your gift, for your well-deserved recognition of intuitive beingness, for the fact that you are able to see where others can only hear where you can perceive the knowledge and bring it into the time for 
understanding where others can only but grasp the sensory of what is about to happen. And yet, when you take everything that is presented and you bring it as one, you have a whole. Dear ones, you are not individual. Oh, you are. But the individual needs to be within the one. Because when you are in the individual of oneness, you will begin to find the fluidity that flows through you of universal energy to tap into that which is the now creational energy. And I am going to speak to the lives that have come forward to you this time because many of you have lifetimes that you have brought into this time. And they are acting as what you would commonly call the anchors, the trip wires, the self-sabotages. And these, my dear ones, you are to understand are no longer required. The karmic desire of self-whipping, of beating one's knowledgeable self up because you have done something in some past lifetime, is over. <coughs> Karma is but history. If you allow yourself to realize that you are moving into and have already moved into this moment of being, which is the new cyclic lifespan. You have heard of the golden age. We have spoken to you of the golden age, of that which is the breaking forward of the energy from your 2012. And this was the new beginning. And yet here you sit in 2017 of your calendar. What is golden in your life? What is powerful in your life? Or what have you allowed to drag itself through the mire and the mud into this present time that you no longer need? <laughs> oh, beloved children, understand this. Like a mother, I will speak to you and I will tell you to clean your room because I am the mother energy. I have birthed all that you see in conjunction with that which is the universal energy. And I have much love for you. I have so much desire for your greatness and for your growth and for your expansion that you cannot comprehend it. Indeed, I would challenge you to now breathe and in the breath ask yourself, what lifetime am I holding on to that is preventing me to go forward? What am I so desperately afraid of in letting go that it is preventing me from becoming what I know I should be. Now understand this, my plantings, my little orchards, my saplings. You are ancient trees. You are not young growths, no. But you are ancient. You have your roots that have settled down through the fractures and the layers and the, oh, the different realms of this planet seek the energy that is there. Feel it in your roots. And now, as you feel it, and through the layers that are there, the stratas that are in the very earth realm, begin to sense that sense of empty void that your roots are tapping into. There is no solidity there, and yet it is full. It is energized. Hold that energy in your roots. Hold it. Come back up into this moment 
and look at that lifetime that is saying to you, you cannot do this. Who do you think you are? Do you remember the last time we attempted this? Or it could be even saying, remember my friend, you were so great and so powerful then. Who do you think in this lifetime is going to believe that you are capable of doing this? I do. I, Gaia, believe in you. I believe that you are all capable of so much more than what your human mind is telling you. Dear ones, now is the time to cut the ties, to take the sword of Michael and use it wisely on yourself not anybody else, but on you. And cut the ties, cut the cords, dear ones, of your blockages, of your limitations. Because understand you, <laughs> as you've heard many, many teachers tell you and re-remind you of the greatness of who you are. You are the solution. And you are the problem. So if you are the problem, you have the answer and the equation to come out at the very end in totality of balance. There are some here that are more ancient than they recognize. And as they are allowing their root system to tap into the void of the center of the earth, you are beginning to remember, and that is triggering for you certain memories. Take a breath. Take a breath, dear ones. It is exhilarating. As you allow that memory, that energy to surge up into your root system, to allow it to come up into the very fiber of your being, as you allow it to sense and to permeate into the very essence of who you are, it is going to remind you of your grandeur. It is going to remind you of the gift of the ancients that you are. Now, I do not glibly say, oh, you are of the ancient ones. No, not all of you are all ancient. You are ancient, yes, because you have had multiple, upon multiple, upon multiple lives. But there are five of you in this room, five, who are more ancient than the others. And by that I say that you have had existences that probably would be what you would call primordial in your <laughs> scientific human language. <laughs> primordial. Oh, doesn't it just give you the gooseies? Is that how you say it? <laughs> the shiver. Darlings, listen to me. It is not primordial. It is pre-life. It is existence beyond the solidity of the earth. Before I, the sentientness of Gaia, formulated a solidity of planetary surrounding. So you could say, dear ones, that you are of my family. Now remember, you may all want to do that. You may all want to be that, but not all of you are. And I am not going to point you out because that is your journey to discover. And when you begin to allow the very essence and the voidness of the center of me come into the root system, it will trigger for you the great memories of creation. It will trigger for you the sight of the birthing of the sun. And no, not the sun that you look at every day. I am talking of the sun. That split 
four ways. Now, my dear trees, my dear life essence beings, hear my words. Just as you are tapping into the energy with your roots, so you must realize that you are formulating a symbiotic relationship with each other in this room. You are symbiotically connected to myself, and thus you are in... <laughs> oh, you are in so deep. Because now you are in a symbiotic relationship with all the groups that are connected with me globally. When I call at the deepest resonance, you will begin to hear. When I speak with you, it will not perhaps be through a human voice as is occurring now, but it will be in the tremors of the trees. It will be in the aroma that wafts by. I could present in a, how do you say, a smell that no one else can hear, smell, perceive, become aware of. But you hear, smell, know, touch. There is something different. When that happens, dear ones, I ask that you stop and you connect because I am speaking. Now, I'm not going to perhaps give you a linear sentence in your energy or mind or heart, but it could be a sense, a feeling, a knowing. What you do with that determines the outcome. Oh, do not worry. I am not saying that you are now responsible for every earthquake and volcanic eruption in this planet. I'm not saying that you're responsible for every storm or raindrop that falls or the sun that beams from the sky. I am saying that you are going to be messengers of my voice. When you touch the waters, speak to the waters, healing, clarity, purification. When you walk upon the soil, speak to the soil and resonate into it, purity, purification and healing. When you sit amongst the trees, Lay your hands upon the trees and allow your energy to permeate the bark and into the sap so that it may go deep into the roots and up out of the leaves in an osmosis and symbiotic relationship. Because, dear ones, when you connect with nature, when you connect not because you have because you desire to, because you want to, you will begin to see a dynamic movement in your own life. That will ripple out into the various interconnections that you have. Nature is healing. And in its purest form, it is sustenance to your spirit. It is the energy that sustains you. When you sit at the table and you are about to dine on that which I have provided, both plant and animal and liquid, as a third, give thanks. 
Give thanks because this is going to provide you with the very vibration that you desire to move and grow and expand. It is going to give you the resonance to connect with the universal connection, that which is the masculine, the father energy of the universe. It will also allow you to be grounded in the feminine energy, me, the earth. And as you are the connecting piece, you are the soiled or the wire that touches the positive and the negative and allows the current to run through and as that happens you will feel the energy surging through you because you are a conduit you are a conduit of all things necessary for this time and sometimes, my darlings, it is necessary to be a conduit of that which is, in your human words, unpleasant. Just as importantly as it is to be a conduit of that which is pleasant. Because in this planetary system that you exist in, dear ones, you have to have the balance. But as you begin to vibrate, as you begin to allow this new energy that is here to serve you, you will begin to lift the vibration out of this 3D realm and exist between the fifth and the sixth and the seventh dimension. Oh, you will shoot out to all other dimensions as well, but you will be more solidly connected to these three dimensions. Beloved, you are about to embark, if you choose. My dear children, hear me. Just like any parent who loves her children, would say as they are about to leave home and strike out on their own, you are about to embark on the most important time of experiential moments because it is yet unwritten. There is no template, there is no forerunner that you can refer to of this energy that you are tapping into. If you choose, you can equally choose to remain where you are. <coughs> and there is no judgment, because it is what it is. And it is your journey. But, oh, I do love that word in your English language, I do find it has such well, so many <coughs> nuances that you can use it for. So many different places, this word but. And in this important clarification, I would use it as a bridging. If you choose to move forward in this new energy and begin to strike out as a pioneer, as a pathfinder, as a forerunner, if you choose to pierce through the unknown and begin to plant your own seed beds, you will find that you are becoming that which you have dreamed about that which you have sought after. But if you choose to remain doing that which you have always done, 
you are not going to go much further than what you are doing as you have always done and will always continue to do until you choose to make a change. Breathe. Breathe my energy. Feel your roots in me. Do not stop. Allow this to be a state of being within you. Do not leave here <laughs> and forget this. Do not leave here and log it away as a nice experience, a good memory. But think about what I have shared and how for you, the individual, how you can begin to be that which is your new journey, your new destiny. Because it's unwritten. It's un written. Take heart. Believe in yourself. Cut the lives that you no longer need away. And step into the newness. Step into the freedom. Step into you. For we are waiting for you and we wish to welcome you to that which is the banquet of discovery. I am Gaia and I love you.